All right, just taking a quick look at the Segway power station. So this is, yeah, you know, you you probably heard of Segway, but you probably didn't realize that they make power stations. And in fact, they haven't. This is their first one. And it looks like it's going to be a pretty good one here. And just, you know, initially, check this out. Self-developed LFP battery cells. So, you know, and in fact, it's not just the cells, it's the battery packs. So this is awesome because you basically can transform a very small portable system into something that's almost like a stack for home backup. So yeah, you know, we're talking about going from something like an EcoFlow Delta II Anchor C1000 to something that's almost like having a couple of server rack batteries, you know, sitting by your garage or something. So this is, you know, this is kind of, <laughs> you can kind of do anything you want with this thing. And this is, we're just getting started here. I haven't even talked about the best part. Check this out. You want to add some extra capacity to this thing. You want to throw some extra battery packs on it. There's no cords. <laughs> there's no cords. There's no cables. There's none of, you know, there's none of doing this, <laughs> right? All you've got is these little screws. Yeah, so everything just kind of stacks on top of each other. All the contacts are in there you know so when you just set it on top boom you know it's connected and another benefit to having a product like this designed by a big time company yeah <laughs> you know you know they're gonna really test this thing out and make sure that this thing is just ready to rock and roll how about crush resistance drop resistance uv resistance i haven't seen that one mentioned before and shock resistance yeah it's all pretty good and how about water resistance you probably want to have that as well Guess what? They got that covered. And in fact, they're saying that this is a waterproof shell. They use sealants, films. There's seals too. So when you actually stack this thing, connect the different batteries together, it all stays sealed up. Now, the only question mark I've got for this, and maybe, maybe some of you guys might be curious about this as well. They always say this term, battery packs, whenever they're talking about the water resistance. So now they do show, as you can see, they do show the main unit with the inverter and the cooling fans and all that stuff. They do show that always getting wet as well. And for the inverter here, 2200 watts, so that's pretty solid. You know, it's gonna give you a little bit of overhead here. You know, typically these other units, 1800 watts. Yeah, to kind of be able to power anything you want. This one, yeah, it's nice to be able to do a little bit more, isn't it? So, and the thing is they do mention it doesn't matter even if you just have one battery attached, I guess you can still do the full 2200 watts. Now there is a little note they put on here like 4400 watts. This is the, it's that voltage dropping feature again. So I, you know, I wouldn't recommend, there's really no reason to use that when you can do 2200 watts continuous, right? So I kind of feel like they just wanted to throw that in there to make it, to just throw, you know, just, just throw a higher number in there. How about some charging specs? Yeah, 1250 watts, that's from the wall. So yeah, pretty fast. If, if you just have the one battery in, that's pretty fast. It's obviously gonna get slower and slower as you add more capacity. How about for solar? 800 watts. So actually that's, that's actually pretty good, isn't it? And it's up to 60 volts. So kind of, it's kind of, decent specs really i mean it's on the higher end of decent specs and it's got all the other typical features that we see ups on here they say 20 milliseconds or less on amazon they say 30 milliseconds or less so and then yeah the app of course and five-year warranty and actually you know this is a five-year warranty that you can probably take to the bank right considering the size of this company all right so you know there's a lot of specs here i just want to talk about the weight real quick so, you know, when you see this unit here, this is the 1000. So there's actually nothing in the upper unit as far as batteries go. So that's actually kind of cool. I mean, it's, you know, again, this is a small system that's kind of built, designed like a larger system. So yeah, it's just the inverters, the converters, charge controllers, you know, the display, obviously the output ports, that's all that stuff's in the top part. The bottom part down here, yeah, this is where the actual battery cells are. So when you see it just like this, the two pieces here, that's the 1000. Now they will sell you the 2000. That one just comes with one of the extra battery packs. 
And then of course you can buy more, you can buy more battery packs. So you can buy a total of four battery packs because this bottom part, as you see the way it's designed, the bottom unit is always gonna be on the bottom. What? When they say up to five kilowatt hours, you can only really add four of the battery packs. So for the Cube 1000 here, yeah, it's 36 pounds. So that, you know, that is a little bit heavier than some of the real lightweight competitors like the Delta II and the C1000, which weigh about 10 pounds less. But yeah, the advantage is here with this modular system and just something that's, this is like really, <laughs> the way the build quality is on this thing, it's really built tough, robust. They say this is a magnesium alloy shell on it as well. So, you know, there's that, there's all these little rubber bumpers and stopper. I mean, of course this is, you know, it's a Segway product, right? So yeah, this thing's gonna be solid as a rock. And then, you know, just in case you're wondering, the battery pack down here just itself is about 22 pounds. So that's 22. And then do the math, you know, it's about 14 pounds for the upper unit. So, and that will kind of give you an idea too. Every time you add an, another extra battery, it's going to be 22 more pounds. And the last little detail I like about this design is just this screen that's angled slightly upwards, right? So it just makes, you know, it just, you're going to probably have this thing on the floor, aren't you? So it just makes being able to see it easier. So yeah, this is just kind of, um, this is actually, it looks like, <laughs> it looks like they did the research here. So yeah, this is probably going to quickly become one of the best sellers, I would imagine. Um, you know, as long as it performs. And one last thing here too, you know, since this is a brand new product, they just launched this thing. Yeah, you know, they're trying to, uh, <laughs> they're trying to get people to try it. Yeah, so, you know, let me know what you guys think of this Segway power station. And uh, hopefully you kind of found this overview helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.